Hello, today's story is called The Dancing Peacock, and it comes to us from the Jataka Tales. A very long time ago, the animals of the forest crowned the lion their king, and the fish of the sea crowned the whale their queen, and the birds in the sky crowned the golden swan their ruler, and everyone lived a very happy life. As the years passed, King Golden Swan, who had a beautiful golden daughter, noticed that she was getting of an age to be married. He also remembered that he had told her when she was young that when it was time to settle down, she could pick her own consort. As the time for his daughter's nuptials approached, the Golden Swan called all the birds in the land to assemble in his court. Birds came from far away and everywhere. There were geese, swans, eagles, sparrows, hummingbirds, cuckoos, owls, and many other kinds of birds that gathered to be picked as the bird to win the golden swan's hand in marriage. King Golden Swan told his lovely daughter to select the husband she wanted, and she cast her eyes on the group that was assembled. She soon noticed the shining, emerald green long-necked peacock with its beautiful many-coloured flowing tail feathers. She turned to her father and said, Father, this bird, the peacock, will be my husband. All the birds gathered around the peacock to congratulate him. They said, Even among so many beautiful birds, the golden swan princess has chosen you. You are a lucky bird and we congratulate you on your fortune. The peacock puffed up with pride and twirled in a strutting dance, fanning the magnificent colours of his feathers. He forgot modesty and bent and strutted, showing parts of his body that should have remained private. The other birds, especially the young ones, giggled at the spectacle. But King Golden Swan was not amused. He was disgusted by the proud peacock and most embarrassed to see his daughter's choice behave with such immodesty. He thought to himself, this peacock has no inner shame to give him proper modesty, and he has no outer fear to prevent indecent behaviour. This bird who shows off so much is definitely not an appropriate mate for my daughter. Standing in the midst of the great assembly of birds, the king spoke out, Dear Peacock, your feathers are beautiful and you shine like an emerald, but you have danced with little caution or modesty and I cannot permit my daughter to marry a prideful bird like you. The ki then King Golden Swan married his golden daughter to a modest but handsome nephew. The silly Peacock strutted away, having lost a beautiful wife. The other birds twittered as the peacock left and remarked, If you let pride go to your head, you'll wind up acting like a fool. I hope you enjoyed that story. We'll see you again tomorrow.